Yeah, good morning, Kara. I think people are just trying to figure out the best situation or route that's going to work for them. And there are several ways to go. Let's face it, it's tough for everybody. Let's take a look real quick what's happening to the K. Bailey Hutchinson Center. Hundreds of people staying there overnight. Dallas City officials say they've opened this up to offer safety and warmth to the people that need there. A lot of them people there have been experiencing homelessness, but it's open to everybody. Uh, on deck there will be mental health, medical teams, even housing counselors on site. And like I said, it is open to everyone right now. If you need to get warm, you can do so. No ID is required. Meanwhile, some people are looking at hotels, but hotels across DFW are booked as people rush to find rooms to get out of the cold after homes reported more than 24 hours without power. Get this. Demand was so high that at one point Hotels.com advertised as Super 8 going for $400 on Monday, a days in offering a one night stay for $900. Now we have reached out to Attorney General Ken Paxson's office about price gouging but have not heard back yet. We will be following up on that. A lot of you upset about those reports. We also talked to a woman who had just flown into DFW. She found out her connecting flight had been canceled. She said she looked for a hotel, couldn't find one. Luckily she has family in the area, but even then it cost her. All the hotels are booked until Wednesday, so I'm paying $200 to lift to my sister's house. She's on the other side of Arlington. Now we are also hearing from people who want to stay home, even if they don't have power. They don't want to go to a hotel, they don't want to go to shelter, but they've been asking what can we do to stay the warmest possible while inside. Here's what we're hearing from experts. Number one, close the blinds on your windows. This will actually help keep in some heat. You can also stuff towels or blankets at the base of your doors and windows that will keep the cold out, the heat in. Also, close doors to different rooms in your house. This actually helps cut down on wasting the heat. And this might surprise you, but make sure that you're eating and drinking food. That's going to help keep your body warm as it processes it. Now, we've heard from many of you. We're also hearing from city and county officials. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson says he wants answers from the higher ups when it comes to the energy sources, saying what's happening right now is simply unacceptable and things need to change. We know we've seen a lot of lawmakers calling for that. So this is a story that will continue to develop even after this cold has passed. We might see some changes. Back to you.